Hello voters, now let's talk about elections. You know our parliament has both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. There used to be 545 seats in Lok Sabha. But after the 104th Amendment Act, the two reserved seats for Anglo-Indians were abolished. Now we have total 543 seats. Because of the large population size we have. Now voting is happening for the remaining seats in 7 phases from April 19th to June 1st. So here are a few things we want you to know before casting your vote. We must know the candidates of our constituency by reading their affidavits. For example, the affidavits contain details of their qualifications, the wealth and any police cases they have. All these files are filed which are available on the Election Commission website. Now, manifestos. We must read the manifestos. It is a document that contains the things parties promise to fulfill if they come to power. For example, giving hospital facilities, providing land to the farmers, etc. Look for those whose plans will benefit not just you but the whole country. If you didn't receive a voter slip, don't be disappointed. Go to the polling booth Mention on your voter ID and confirm your enrollment directly. There are chances that you will be given the slip on the spot. If you are a senior citizen and if it's difficult for you to travel, you can ask the polling booth officer to help in arranging transportation for you. It is free of cost. If you are a first time voter, you can ask the polling booth authorities to guide you on how to use the electronic voting machine or EVMs to cast your vote. Now please carry a valid identity card like the other card and the voter ID card as it is a mandatory. Mobile phones are banned in the polling booth. So ensure that you leave it at home or in your vehicle before standing in the line to vote. If you didn't like any of the candidates in your constituency, there is a no to option, which means none of the above. If the count of the no to votes is more, the parties will be forced to change their candidates. Last but not the least, do not vote on the basis of the candidate's personal identity such as ethnicity, religion, caste, etc. but on their merits or their potential to become a good leader. To cast a vote and choose our representatives is an honor and a basic right. Utilize it carefully.